another one of these videos. I know, they're really boring, but they actually make me feel a little bit better. So yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Hey guys, it's Taylor, and today I'm just gonna do like a little sit down type of thing again because I'm feeling kind of meh today. And I've actually been feeling that way for the past, like, since last Thursday, and it's Monday now, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, so five days straight I've just been not feeling the best, and it sucks, and, you know, I'm really trying to stay positive, but for some reason, like, in my mind, it's just not working right now, and, um... I'm kind of nervous to make this video because I don't even know what to say, like I'm not even, like yes, I have a reason why I've, what, stemmed the sadness and, uh, but there's no reason for me to not get out of this funk that I'm in right now. So it's uh, March the 27th and it's like 9.30 in the morning, it's Monday, I should be at class right now, but I'm procrastinating, going, uh, like, I just want to cry right now because, like, I'm not, I don't have any motivation today or yesterday or the day before. And it's really frustrating me because I want to be able to do things, but it's just not fucking working. And uh, I don't know why. So, I guess this whole sadness period has started on Thursday. Um... Thursday, the day was good, I think. Um, I just went to printmaking and went to class and stuff and then came home and uh, I got a message from my dad saying that one of my guinea pigs passed away while I was gone and it's technically my sister's guinea pig but um, we both take care of them and so I kind of consider both of them like ours. And her name was Cinnamon and she was about six, five to six years old. And um, that's a pretty good lifespan or life for a guinea pig because they usually die around eight or they say, I think it's four to eight years old they usually die. So she lived like right in the middle of that. And I'm happy that she did live for as long as she did. And I'm just really upset cause like that was, I don't wanna cry. I don't want to cry. That was one of my fears of coming here was that um, my guinea pigs might not make it. I'm not saying that um, the fact that I wasn't there to be able to care for them is the, the reason why they died or she died. I'm just saying that um, I really don't I didn't want to be in a situation where one of them passed or, <clears throat> sorry. Why did I even do my makeup? <laughs> I didn't want to be in a situation where something tragic would happen back at home. And for those of you who don't know me, you have never met me in real life. My guinea pigs, one of my guinea pigs dying is tragic for me. And I didn't want to be in a situation where I wouldn't be able to say goodbye or be there for my family. I think all of this has just really sent me in a downward spiral. And I was actually doing really good like before that. And I was making the best of my time and my energy. And now I just I don't feel like doing anything. I just I just want to come home now. Such a fucking crybaby. This is why I was scared to make the video, because I knew I was going to start crying. But yeah, like I said, I was doing really, really good before that happened, and I'm going to try to get back into 
the swing of things. And I'm sorry for being a Debbie Downer, but I think these emotions really come from this experience, like just up and moving to another country is not an easy thing to do. And sometimes I question why I even did it, but I'm here now. <laughs> And yes, it's a dream come true to be here. And, but I think it's normal to have these sad times, I guess. It sucks, but I don't think I would be human if I was just <laughs> having the time of my life here and not thinking about what's going on at home or anything like that. You know, some of the friends that I've made here, uh, they're able to actually go home uh, for the weekend or whatever if they need to and I'm like so freaking jealous of them because this experience would be so much easier if I was able to just go home for the weekend and see everyone. God. And just and then come back here because I don't want to leave here. I just want to be with the people that I love and honestly it's quite lonely here. I don't know. I think my personality is just... Maybe it's not meant to be... <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think because I'm so... Uh... anxious all the time and somewhat depressed. I don't want to say that I'm depressed because how can I be depressed? I'm in another country. I'm experiencing things that I never thought I would experience so I can't say that I'm depressed. I'm just going through some weird emotions and I just need to talk about them to somebody want to go home for a little bit, but I can't. I have a lot of schoolwork to do, and I'm not in a good mental state to like just do it. I don't know. Last week was so good, and the week before that was so good. And I'm doing all the same things. I'm just, I'm making videos, I'm writing in my journal, I'm eating really healthy, but it's just no matter what I do, it's not working. I was, I woke up at like six o'clock this morning because I couldn't sleep and uh, it's now like almost 10, I think, like I said. I should be in class right now, but here I am crying in front of the camera, so that's my life. And I will go to class, don't worry, I'm, after this I'm gonna put some actual clothes on and go to school. I also think something else that's been worsening my mood is uh, the weather here has been awful. It's cold and rainy and the past couple of weeks it was really, really nice. And they're not kidding when they say that the weather has an effect on our mood. and. It really does if you're going through something like I'm going through. Um, yeah, I hope you guys can appreciate these kinds of videos where I'm being 100% real and raw and honest. And I am very lucky and um, a lot of people don't get this kind of opportunity so I am very grateful for it, but I just make videos on how I'm feeling and this is how I'm feeling right now and um, like I said, I hope you can appreciate this. These feelings are normal, I'm a human, you're human, and I want to share every experience that I have here with you guys and this is part of it and I'm sorry if you don't like these kinds of videos. I promise my next video will be more happy.
Hi guys, sorry, um, my battery died in the middle of whatever I was saying and I changed into my outfit for the day. Yeah, I'm gonna go to class now and um, I would like to reiterate something that I've been forgetting to say in my last videos, but um, just that everything is temporary and nothing lasts forever, so you need to make the best of every moment that you have. And I have not been doing that the past few days, so I'm going to try to get myself out of this little funk that I'm in, and yeah. So, um, if you guys would like to follow me on my um, ups and downs in Portugal, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, and um, I will leave a link to my Instagram down below where I post pictures of what I'm experiencing. And yeah, make sure you give this video a like as well and to give me some support in my journeys. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Happy, hopefully. Mm -hmm.